Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Surviving Mars. Maximum difficulty in our colony of Hellridge. We are getting births. We've had like five people born so far. That's good. Up to 17 pops and some of them are growing up and now we can start working extra jobs. This is huge. New anomalies available. 3D machining and Sterling generator. So not new anomalies, new research available. So we would be able to learn how to make a machine parts factory at some point. Now this would really be massive. If I could start uh, making my own machine parts, we'd be in a really good spot. Let's remember I could always buy one, a small machine parts factory for only 165 million. Would keep me going for a bit. We could also spend my little bit of remaining funding trying to buy out some extra machine parts, electronics, and so on, and keep myself alive. Could do that. I don't know that we need to do that yet. And as our population grows and we have more options, I might even consider it. But right now, let's not worry about the extra maintenance and electronic consumption of a machine part factory. And instead, hopefully we can just save some money and buy the last little bit that I'm going to need. We did finish up with the uh, first round of soybeans, so my soil quality is going up. We can do a round of cover crops, which would finish the last of it. It does take five souls to grow this. I'm actually wondering if this is not worth it after all. Because let's keep in mind, I won't get full value out of the cover crops. It increases the soil quality by 40%, but we only need to go up by 30%. And as long as the soybeans are currently enough to sustain my population, maybe we should just keep doing this. Yes, indeed, we get another underground research anomaly. Waste of time! Total waste of anomalies. God, these anomalies are just not working out for me this game. They really aren't. But I can't complain. Not really. Because for some reason, there have been no natural disasters on Mars except for occasional meteor storms. I, I still don't remember. We're going to find out at some point soon. I'm sure you guys have told me in the comments repeatedly. Because you guys tend to do things like that. And I'm not... I mean, I'm a little bit complaining, but you get the point. A little bit of backseat gaming is less fun. But... Um, it's entirely possible that the game still has a bit of a... Shall we say grace period in the game maybe but also maybe not maybe they don't have that and the game is bugged and we'll never get a cold wave and i'll never have to worry about things like the subsurface heater and all of a sudden this maximum difficulty run is going to turn out to be fine hey breakthrough oh good lord please be good this time for the love of god please be good this time get over here do this one first then we can work on these i need something better than forests or research Anything. Anything at all. Would be great. Actually, if I research a couple of breakthroughs, we would get some free supply pods, which isn't half bad. Um, no one else has researched a breakthrough yet. I'm sort of surprised by that. I'm kind of wondering... Uh, maybe not yet, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering if we should try using the science anomalies to burst out a breakthrough and see if we can just do that and beat America to it. Depends entirely on what this next breakthrough is, actually. That's, that's what it comes down to. If the next breakthrough is amazing, sure. Um, I need a drone to come and recharge itself right now. Resources are low. And then I need you to go and clear out the water because right now... Actually, you know what? Forget it. We already... I've just remembered. We have our RC Explorer uh, Commander already over here. We can just do that right now. We're fine. So I've used up some more of my electronics, unfortunately. And we are out of what? Power? Yeah, we ran out of power. Well, that's about to get fixed. There we go. Artificial muscles? <sighs> Drones carry two resources at once. Ugh, God. Um, this is not... No. See, mm, I want to research the breakthrough and get 500 free science. I do. It's just that 500 science isn't going to make up for the fact that I'm wasting a lot of science on something I don't care about. Fine. Let's just do this. This is the one that's the most likely to be useful. Let's see if we can beat the U.S. to it. The Maybe. The it depends on if we can get 700 science for each of these, and I think the answer is yes. If we can beat the U.S. to it, great. And if we can get our population up high enough to start getting some research labs, also great. But we're not there yet. Let's see... Some children should be becoming youths very soon. More people becoming middle-aged. We don't have a lot more time before people start becoming seniors and we start having uh, no more births. <sighs> Do you think that we're still screwed? I mean, my comfort rating is still 69. Hey, we did actually get the breakthrough first. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. Suck it, America. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Let's get this biome engineering going as fast as we can. Get that comfort rating nice and high, above 69. We should be getting more births than this, is I guess what I'm saying. I, I feel like we're supposed to have more births than this. And it's just not happening. We've got time, right? Middle aged is a long period of life. None of these guys should be becoming seniors anytime soon. We'll have like maybe two or three seniors in the nearest future, but that's it. Anomaly we got time. Analyzed. So we'll see what happens. Another anomaly, that one only worth 1250 but it's almost enough to finish that up. It's a Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Somebody just became an alcoholic. How? There's no alcohol on Mars currently. None. There's no way you could have accessed any of the alcohol. So how you became an alcoholic is a true feat of futility? I don't know. Something. I've got no idea how it's possible, but they did it. So, are we making water again, please? Okay, we are draining too much at night. I have to turn you on. I'm going to turn you off. Well, let's see. You off at night? Uh, I don't know about that. The hydrocroscopic vaporator has been working out pretty nicely. Is there anything else I could turn off at night? I don't, I don't think there is, actually. I think that's kind of it. Shy of some of these jobs, I don't think there's much else we can do. Well, let's go ahead and turn you back on, because we're not getting enough power during the day, or are we? No, we're getting enough power during the day, I think. Hey, planetary anomalies! Whoa, 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 whoa! Breakthrough? 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 Yes! Ah, oh, RC Safari! You jerk! Well, that's not even freaking worth it. Um, How much does an RC Safari cost again? Can't even afford it. $550 million! Oh, God. Right. Also, I should note that it's apparently so heavy. Oh, no. It's not that. What do we need to get this again? It's a tech, isn't it? There's a tech for this, I think. Oh, son of a... All right. That ain't gonna happen. No power for the extractor. Yeah, we're not outputting enough power anymore at night. What that means is I now need to get myself another wind turbine. So we'll go ahead and start working on that. That will solve all my power woes. It will. Then we can have things running at night again. Boom. Uh, you should be running. Oh! No, I forgot. Right, because of this. So this can't be on at night. Shoot. That did nothing. Well, we're going to have some dehydration issues in a little bit. Turn this back on. Solve that problem. Get the life support up and running again. Just keep us afloat. Keep us afloat for a little bit longer. We've got the power, at least, so we're okay. There we go. That's going to cause some serious breakdowns in sanity, which tends to be a bit of a problem, but... We'll work with it. So, am I getting water now? Increasing by 0.5. I'm not getting a lot of water right now. All right, we need to go for our first round of hygroscopic coating, and it might be time to go ahead and place down another hygroscopic vaporator. It might be overkill, but I'd rather have too much water than not enough for reasons that I think are obvious. Vaporator nearby. Can't place it that close, but we can place it over here. Sure, I guess. I'm going to keep you out of range. This will work. Yeah, do that. Get a pipe. Set it up over here, I think. And all we care about is getting it into the water tank, so we'll be fine on that. And you are already powered, it looks like, so you're set. All right, so we're good on water again. So at least that's taken care of. We got another berth. Also, someone else became middle-aged. Less good, but hey... Full shift of rare earth metals extractors. Good. So we've produced 10. 10, count them, rare metals. That's going to be worth $240 million. Research complete. It's something. Biome engineering is done. Thank you. That is comfort rating. Huge, huge, huge to have that on hand. Uh, anything else that we feel like we need badly right now? We're going to start working on the extractor amplification. I do think that's the right call. Because I'd be able to get some extra power uh, over at my water extractor if we wanted it. Which we don't need it right now. But if we wanted it, we'd have that option. Fuel compression, blah, blah, blah. Three machining is something we are going to need. But is it a top priority? Probably not. Oh! Dome bioscaping. Top priority now. More comfort! For micro domes. That's what we have right now, right? Wait. Do we have a mini dome or a micro dome? Which do we have? Micro dome. Okay, yes. So that tech 
will actually get me some increased comfort rating. So the comfort rating here should go up at the end of the day, thanks to these farms. By the way, we're doing fine on food. No problems right now on food. Let's keep an eye on this. This is kind of the baseline, about 35 by the time we finish a harvest. But yeah, and it should only get better. It should only get better for a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull you back a little. Um, I would really love a research lab. That maintenance of electronics is the only thing holding me back. Because I could justify pulling some folks back and just going for raw science. But that may not work out for me. What are we scanning over here? Oh, I forgot about that. Well, hopefully this works out and there's another breakthrough over here or something. There often is. There's, there's often one here and somewhere like over here or something. I don't know. We'll try that and then we'll just go ahead and scan more of this area. See if anything works over here or something. I don't know. Actually, there's usually a bunch over here, too. Eh, whatever. Everywhere I'm not is where we're going to find a lot more anomalies. All right, 18 pops. Uh, we have one more person who has become an adult. Not a youth, though, so he's not working yet. Ten middle-aged people now. We've, the clock is ticking, guys. No doubt about it, the clock is ticking. I kind of feel like we need to go ahead and just launch the rocket... And get whatever we can and bring back some resources without having to cost me a hundred million for a supply pod. I know we don't have a lot of money on here yet, but I feel like that's probably the best way to go. So we'll load up 14, and then let's go ahead and return to Earth. It's better. It's better than going for a supply pod. Yes, it costs me fuel, but guess what I'm making? Fuel. And if I can't do a dang breakthrough over here that's worthwhile, with the RC Safari being a thing, then yeah, let's let's not worry about it. Let's just go ahead and send them, get a little bit more money, Sector we'll load 10. up on some machine parts, maybe a few electronics, bring them back. It's the most cost-effective way to do it. Okay, so that is not a breakthrough tech. That is a regular one. Hold on. I am confident there usually is a breakthrough somewhere over here. Unless it's randomized over there, because, like, again... Every time you start the same seed, some things are the same. Some things are generally still true, but not all of them are the same. 72 comfort rating here, by the way. 72. Resources are low. It's not bad. Um, we're going to do some filtering here, I think. Let's go to the dome and say filter by traits. Perks. The sexy trait it belongs here under all circumstances, where my comfort rating is the highest. The party animal belong here as well. And no hippies, because we don't have any gardens. That said, they can go to a garden easily enough. They just live here and try to procreate. Sure. That's going to be important for me. Um, what is currently the male to female ratio? It's even out, so that's fine. We don't need to mess with that. Any other like quirks or flaws we want to remove here? I don't think we need to. I think they're all kind of fine the way they are. I'm just looking for any way at all. Any way at all. To try and increase my birth rate. We can make sure that children never live here. That shouldn't be an issue already because there's only 14 people. But you get the idea. I'm actually tempted to remove this playground even though it's a waste of polymers and move it over here. And place some extra housing just so I can have more adults here where the comfort rating is the highest. Not that it's bad over here. I mean, it's still pretty nice. It's 69. But... We don't need the playground here. We could fit in one extra round of houses. We could also try working toward getting, like, some apartments and stuff. Now, that reduces comfort, so I'm not sure it's worth it, but it's a thing we could do. Low on machine parts. Yeah, we go through 0.6 per day, and it's going to take me a few days for the rocket to get to Earth. We may run out. There were no secrets to find. A celebrity applicant. If only applicants mattered even a little bit. Hmm. I don't remember there being a vista there. That actually might have just been a consequence of the anomaly based on its positioning. I'm a little bit suspicious. There's not usually a vista there. I'm about positive. That's interesting. Wow, that's a lot of meteors all of a sudden. Hey, look at Dust Devil! They do exist! The rare mythical beasts! Alright. Um, we have two machine parts left up over here. And we're going to need it fixed soon. Oh, God. 
Please tell me my timing on the machine parts wasn't wrong, and I'm gonna end up having to do a supply pod thing. Oh god, we might. Uh, let's just go ahead and clear some rocks out over here. Um, I think... I think we are gonna let this go into disrepair and try to save my machine parts for a little bit longer. We should be okay-ish on water, using my moisture evaporators, if we turn off fuel. And I don't need fuel. I can live without it. So we'll extract as much water as I can, but just before this thing shuts down, no more repairs. Okay? Let's go ahead and pick up the machine parts, and we're going to bring those back. Same with the concrete. There's no reason for concrete to be over here. Okay, grab that. Some metals. I don't care if we leave behind, like, a metal. That's fine. Unload this over at the area here. There we go. All right, so whatever machine parts we've got are left over here, so we can keep running things like the fuel, keep running things like the rare metals extractor a little bit longer. I'm just buying time until my rocket can arrive. All right. Well, there's not much going on over here. So I'm kind of leaning toward maybe we should do a jump cut. Never mind. Breakthrough. Hey, I told you there was usually one over here. It was just a little bit further away from where I usually thought it would be. All right. Please, 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 for the love of God, tell me I'm going to get a reasonable breakthrough here. Please tell me I will. I need it. I crave it. I want it so bad. Give me breakthrough. Give me good one. Juicy one. Extractor, service spots, gem architecture. Gosh dang it. Diamond domes? You think I got any interest in a diamond dome? Oh, it's got space for two spires. That'll be great in the mid game. Frick me. All right. Well, I, I, I don't know that I want to say that we're screwed. Um, I just want to say that I hate everything and everyone. And I think that this map is, in fact, trying to kill me. Dang it all the heck. Uh, at the very least, like, the thing where these things never have leaks would have been nice. Not that we're having any issues as far as, like, you know, dust storms or anything. But you get the idea. Gosh dang all frickin' frackin' heckin' heckin' things. We got an unemployed person. We should do something about that. Um... Well, you know what we should do then? We should turn this on, let them work this, and uh, we actually should have more people working in two shifts because you get even more production by doing that. Overtime is pretty powerful in that way, actually. <sighs> this is going to take me more power, of course, but you know what? We have the wind turbines, and I can do polymer blades if I need them. So I think we'll be fine running this during the day and the night. We can turn on an extra solar panel as needed. Oh, by the way, over here, turn you off, turn you off. Three more machine parts. That's all we've got to sustain ourselves until the Trailblazer comes back. We need to turn off, I think, the fuel refinery entirely, which also would normally cost me machine parts, but this will keep my water up and running. I take that back. We are still losing water. Son of a... Um... Okay. Well, I mean... Oh, boy. Where's my unemployed person? You, Mr. Unemployed. Assign here. There, you're no longer unemployed. I have solved your problem. Okay, so we're making four rare metals per soul. By the time the Trailblazer comes back, we're actually going to have another decent load to go ahead and send back. That's something. I'm worried about the water situation. It's going to be a slow bleed, very slow bleed, but it is going to be a problem. And I don't want to set up another moisture evaporator right now, though I suppose I could. It's the easy solution to my problems. Oh, freaking heck. All right. Bad prefab. Oh, come on. Lose a drone. It's been constructed, but requires more maintenance every time it malfunctions. Double maintenance. Come on. Was that necessary? Was that really required? <sighs> right. No point in being mad. The game does what it does. It's surviving Mars. The point is you have to survive. Survival is tough. Hey, money. That was actually more money than I thought it would be, but $336 million is good. Resupply. Cargo rocket. 
Safari. Get breakthrough techs. Also, machine parts and some electronics. This is all I can afford. It's enough to sustain me until I can get my rocket back for another run, and in the meantime, this worthless RC Safari is a very expensive breakthrough. Now the worst thing that could possibly happen is if one of my competitors says, you know, let's go ahead and scan this one, and then I'll be real mad. But all right, we're getting the machine parts, we're getting some electronics, we'll sustain ourselves for a bit longer. Then we're gonna be able to get our water. And we are, we're gonna be able to get our fuel. And with our fuel, we'll be able to get a breakthrough because we have an RC Safari. <sighs> I'm trying so hard to get anything that will save this game. I'm trying so, ah, breakthrough! Okay, see, I told you there was usually one up over here and I wasn't kidding. Oh, meteor storms, all good. That'll be great, yay. Let's go ahead and start scanning this area. I know there's a bunch up over here usually. I did not actually expect to get this actually on the first try. I figured it was in this area usually. It's usually over here or over here, but sweet, first try. So two breakthroughs. I got two more chances to save this run. Two more chances, everybody. That's all we got. You know, just two. Um, if this meteor storm hits me, I am going to die. I mean, that sounds like self-explanatory. No one survives getting hit by meteors, right? But like, if it's purely focused on this area, I am doomed. If it is not, we'll be fine. Meteor storms are one of the few types of disasters that aren't a big deal, generally speaking. Oh, we don't even need any waste rock over here. Yes, we do, just not very much. Well, sweet, we can finish uh, stabilizing that area. Okay, we got a couple days to find out if I'm gonna lose the game or not. Some Death Devils, where the heck are you? Where, where, where'd, you where, where'd you go? Buddy, get over here. I don't know why you're going the long way around, but all right. Sure, whatever, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and jump forward a little bit again because there's not much else to do. Idle extractors, oh no, our concrete ran out. Well, on the plus side, that's one source of maintenance that's gonna be gone. Um, there are actually breakthroughs where these extractors can still kind of trickle resources in, but, and that's helpful in the event that you can't find very many extraction sites, but generally speaking, I don't find this to be super worth it. Uh, mainly because extra maintenance and stuff can suck. Actually, I don't even remember. Does the breakthrough require still extra maintenance? Ah, it might, whatever. Anyway, so we're done with all that. Um, I've got 230 concrete to work with. At some points, we're gonna need to get ourselves a new source, but I don't feel like we need to do it right now. I feel like we're okay on that. My explorer, by the way, is having a hard time getting over here. He keeps trying to jump off a cliff. The explorer knows what's up. This run is doomed! You're all doomed! Yeah, probably true, but look at these dust devils. We haven't seen any any game, and here's two of them just hanging out by the ramp that I need. Watch them make a beeline down here right now. Oh, God. Ah, ah, ah! Missed me, sucker. <laughs> okay, get over here. Then get over here. And then scan it, you stupid explorer. Find out what we freaking got. Why do I... Why do I have two machine parts? I had one earlier. Did I get one from salvaging this? I think I did, actually. Oh, that's nice. That's good to know. Sweet. Uh, okay. So we're hovering along pretty well. Meteor Storm should be hitting now. Over here. Thank God. Okay. God, that could have been bad. <laughs> I was halfway ready to say, Well, GG, everybody. It's all over now. But we're okay. The rocket's almost back. We have some sweet lifeblood, machine parts, and electronics. And by the way, my population has grown to 20. So we've had eight births so far. That's not bad. And my comfort rating, 76. That's really good. So, instead of making this much rare metals, we could start getting a research lab. And considering that's one of the only breakthroughs we got, I mean, I'm tempted. I'm actually very tempted. A little bit of extra science, get that comfort rating up a bit higher, more births, you know? Get extra science so we can start doing everything. I mean, it, it, yeah. The only problem is it costs electronics, but we could sustain electronics for a little while. Just a little while, it doesn't have to be very long. Hmm. How many, how many um, electronics does it take to build? Five. Well, guess how many I just ordered? Five. So uh, we're not gonna be able to do this right now. But next trip with the rocket, if we can afford it with some rare metals, eh, maybe? 
early game research lab and just go ahead and pivot our strategy a little bit. Say, screw it, we're going hard on science. Eh? It could be a thing. Could be the way to go. Where are you, by the way? What are you doing? Hey! Are th is he saying he can't get here? Do I have to baby this sucker? Why is the ex Okay, you're just going through a minefield now. Oh, sure. No, this is fine. Boom, boom, boom. Frickin' heck. All right, I'm gonna baby this sucker and figure out why he's not going where I need him to go. We have found three anomalies? Oh, no. Two more over here. Okay, we're fine. Including some free science, by the way. Look at the dust devils go. Hi! Leak detected. <gasps> How dare you? Not surprising, actually. Oh, we can land our rocket. Let's go ahead and do that now. Resources. Since we're out of machine parts, it's kind of a good time for that. Whoosh. All right, we're gonna fix the leak, which solves a lot of my other problems, because right now we're bleeding water, like, really badly. Really badly. There we go. Okay. So we got that. Gathering exports. We're already dropping off new rare metals. That's fun. Okay. And, and, and we got an RC Safari. So hang on. Forget the exports for a minute. We can afford to wait for a little bit. Pull these back out. And in fact, to speed this along, let's go ahead and set up a quick rare metals depot over here. And a fuel depot over here. I don't remember where my current fuel depot is. It's right here. Forget this. Bad spot. Bring it closer to the rocket so we can have this stuff go a lot faster. All right? So we'll start dropping off all the rare metals over here. We're going to set this up. It only takes 60 fuel now instead of 80. That's nice. And this RC Safari can finally get put to use. Then we're going to unpin it because I will never need it again. Where's my explorer? Hi, explorer. You can't get through here? What? 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 Why? What is this? I'm stuck! Alright. Well, good news. We've got an RC Explorer. Or, sorry, Commander. So we can do a quick little flatten order and create a little bridge. Since apparently, this is all messed up. Also, we'll do a quick clear order so we can get some rocks. And let you store them all right over here. Alright. So let's do that. The breakthrough's the top priority. Above all else, we care about breakthroughs. Okay, um, we are ready to go, apparently. Breakthrough, RC Safari, send the Trailblazer, go. Fwish. Resources are low. Low on oxygen. Doesn't look that low to me, it looks fine, what are you talking about? Shush, all is well. Don't scare me like that, just don't do it. Let's go ahead and upgrade this moisture evaporator, we might as well be getting a little bit of extra water since uh, we're slowly filling up the tanks. All right, so we're working on this. Almost done clearing out the site. Incoming meteor? Where? 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 Over here? Over here? Over by my ramp. I don't even know why they warn you that a meteor is about to hit your ramp. Has anyone ever cared? Nocturnal adaptation. All Conus gain performance during night shifts. I have never seen this before in my life. Well, that's interesting. Now, the problem with this is people tend to lose sanity and get stressed when they're working at night. So I'm not sure how useful that's going to be for me. But that is definitely interesting. Huh. Um, it's not a breakthrough that saves me in this run. Just for the record. Like, that, that, that does not save me. Not at all. But, it's interesting. And interesting is good enough sometimes. By the way, we're up to nine new Martian borns. As long as we find we are getting more than 12, right, consistently we are getting more Martian borns, right, enough to have replacements, technically we're alive and we're sustaining ourselves in this game. But I'm hoping to find out that we have like 20 births before these Earthborns start becoming seniors and no longer able to have kids. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and land the rocket again. Now it's time to go ahead and start gathering up rare metals. 30 is all we need per run. So, I mean, let's go ahead and start doing this. I've got enough fuel. Um, I do want to turn this fuel refinery back on. Now that we have machine parts, I can do that. Let's go ahead and move you up over here. We're going to want to turn back on our water, turn back on our fuel. Breakthrough discovered. Breakthrough vocation-oriented society. Colonists gain work performance when all their stats are in the green. 
that's not it. That would require me getting my morale and sanity up high. I can't do that yet. We don't have the right text for it. Oh, for the love of God. Um, this game is breaking me a little bit, guys. Um, just a little. Just, just a little bit. Just a little broken. But I ain't feeling it. That is, that is a full six breakthroughs that we have discovered. And none of them will save me. None of them will help. They'll do little things like, oh, I don't know, we can work more at night. Cool. Extra performance is great, if that's what mattered. I guess we could have people be nighttime farmers, you know? Like that that's it though. That's all we get. It's not gonna save this run. So what the heck and heck am I supposed to heck and do? I'm angry. I'm just a little angry. I, I am. I really am. By the way, we're doing great on food. You know what that means? It means we pull back on one more worker. And he'll go work on the rare metals extractor again. So we're a mining colony, straight up. But I don't need this much rare metal. So... We should definitely get ourselves a research lab. I need to send you back to Earth now with a full 30 rare metals. Whoosh. We'll produce fuel, so we'll be ready to go for more runs. We just need to be producing 60 fuel every few days. And we should be able to do that. And with that, we'll buy some more electronics and more machine parts, maybe even more polymers if we need them. And we'll get a research lab, and we'll start finally getting a reasonable amount of science. Dome bioscaping will increase my birth rate even further. And maybe we can start getting some techs under social that increases things like sanity and morale. Or, or maybe even the tech that allows non-specialized just to be better. Like, literally all the other techs in the game are better than the breakthroughs we've gotten at this point. That just hurts. That actually hurts me in the feels. And I'm not even much of one for the feels, but it still hurts. Heck and heck. All right, let's see what this anomaly is going to do, and then we're going to go ahead and end this video. My voice is also, like, completely shot. What do we get? More to the a bunch. Atomic accumulator, drone hub extenders, beyond. drone printing, general training! That's what I want. Mega storage, microgravity medicine, and topology AI. Okay. So, spires. Can't use those yet. Atomic accumulators are actually great in the sense they store a huge amount of power, and having only one battery to worry about with their maintenance is great. General training is so important. Less of a work penalty when they're working in the non-proper specialized job, which is everybody. Everybody gets better from this. And then that's kind of it. Well, that's that's the social tech I wanted, so there you go. <laughs> uh, topology AI, I don't need that. Uh, mega storage, it's nice. I don't need that. <sighs> All right. Um... So, we're going to be pulling a few people off of our Rare Metals Extractor soon. We'll get another research lab. The next thing that I need to work on is a polymer factory, so we can at least eliminate one major concern for us. Polymer factory would be great. And we could set one up right over here, and it's in range of everybody. I don't need to build it this second. Not really. But I can get it in position. Can we flatten this area out, by the way? Yeah, we can, actually. There we go. Just from where I had, like, you know, the concrete kind of messing things up. I just want it to be a little bit cleaner. That's nicer. Okay, so this will be important. Again, machine parts. This will consume fuel, which means I'll need this thing to be able to run pretty much 24-7. I might even need to get another fuel refinery, which would require buying it from Earth. Or building one of my own, which, again takes machine parts. Everything is going to come down to machine parts. But eliminating polymers is a concern, and minimizing my electronics needs will be huge. Oh, lordy. Sector and you know what? Let's just go ahead and get this. Found another anomaly. What'd we get? Hey, more science. That's good. Alright, so these are nice at least. Go ahead and get this afterwards. We're about to get our dome Research bioscaping complete. done. So that increases our comfort rating even further. Which means more births before these people become seniors. Because remember, we're not going to get any more sexy colonists anytime soon. Unless that's inherited. Which I don't think it is in this game, but it'd be kind of cool if it were. 
10 Martian born before any seniors. 10 before any seniors. It's a good sign, guys. It's a very good sign. And we'll get that general training. The anomaly will help. And then all of a sudden, we have a bit more of a fighting chance. New crops. Farms provide even better uh, food yields. If I was worried about food, I'd get that. But I'm not right now. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. I think I'm actually going to be done for this week on this series right now. I need a little bit of time to recoup. I got other stuff to work on. But thank you all regardless. Be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment with your suggestions if you think that I'm doing something really wrong. Though, to be honest, I feel like we're doing really well despite the fact that we're not getting good breakthroughs. Subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.